Hey, you all, it's you, girl. The internet hoe. John Rick. And for today's video, mga curls, medyo ibang level yung haul na ito, mga curls. Kasi you all know I recommend skincare, makeup, hair care, just the whole gist. And right now, mga curls, since also adulting na rin tayo, I think it's also essential to talk about things like this. You know what I mean? Na-inspire ako kay ano. Alam mo yung YouTube channel ng Nair Hair Removal, si Kevin? As much as nakakaloka yung content niya, sobra direct to the point. Pero aminin natin, sobra helpful ng content niya, di ba? Which on my end, na-inspire din ako kasi I was like, you know what? I haven't seen a Filipino beauty guru talk about their, you know, recommend what they use for things like that, you know, the vibes. So, yun nga mga because for today's video, we're gonna be doing a haul of my bedroom essentials. Ito usually mga ginagamit ko if I wanna feel cute and then I feel confident in the bedroom, babes. Okay, like, you know, when things are going on, I'm not feeling conscious if I feel, you know, a certain type of way. Good on. And also mga curls, in case you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. Hit that bell notification icon so you're always notified and last of all girls make sure you follow me on social media bitch because like if you're not following me what's the point so without further ado my curls let's get started All right, mga curls, heads up itong vlog na to. There are a lot of items. Body, hair care, body care, perfumes, oils, yung ganon. Pero I want to start off first with this vlog na heads up again, medyo mahaba tong intro to kasi I kind of want to mention this and I think it's very quintessential for me to mention it, okay? I want you guys to use these tips and tricks and advice only if you're in a relationship or if you're committed, not in hookup culture. Also, abangan nyo in the future, we're working on creating a podcast and we're gonna be talking about everything. Love, love. Life, life in general so I think also at the same time since you've been subscribed to me for years now I've started YouTube at 20 years old and now I'm 26 oh my god I can't believe I'm saying that I don't know I've lived so many lives I felt like one time I was the ugly duckling I glowed up I was this I was that but and dami kong facets in my life that I've encountered na literally I was Barbie Ayun nga, going back I really want to mention this that I do not want you to use these advice and tips and tricks on your hookup or situation shifts because first of all don't even fucking deal with situations Relationships, okay? Only use this if you're in a relationship, married, committed, boyfriend, girlfriend. If you're in a relationship, na serioso. Kasi ako, personally, I've been in hookup culture. You know what, babe? Let's just talk about it a little bit, okay? So I had my whole face, okay? Honestly, I just got lucky kasi personally for me, it's not for the faint of heart. Ha. Ako, I practice detachment. Especially if you have attachment issues, I would not recommend it. And I don't know why it's too glamorized. I feel like some people need to go through it, but not everyone. For me, ha, it's not a requirement that everyone should go through a whole face. Kung hindi mo then don't! Don't get peer pressure on your friends. Most like, oh my god, this guy. Oh, oh, oh. If I'll be honest, right now, I even stopped doing it. It's not worth it. And not a lot of people talk about it. Like, hookup culture is just dangerous. Not emotionally, but even just physically. You know what men have to worry about when they see a first date? If their date is a catfish or fat. You know what I mean? Whereas tayo mga babae or trans, we have to worry if we can go home alive or safe. So, I swear, we're working on a podcast. Abang yung podcast. I'll upload it on YouTube, Spotify. We're working on it. I'm trying to figure things out. Going back to the video again, Again, please use this tips and tricks and products that I would recommend only for your significant other or if you're committed, okay? When it comes to hookups, I mean, if you want to do it and use it for hookups, sure, if that's your thing. But if it's not your thing, I'm not pressuring you to do it. Like, babes, don't even fucking do it, babes. Spare your life and your mental health. Don't even dare fucking do it, babes. Not fucking worth it. And also, speaking of hookup culture, if you have more opinions to add, just comment down below. If you've been a victim of hookup culture or bad experience, if it was a good experience for you, comment down below. Everything is neutral here. Where extreme side by side you know what I mean we're just open and sharing opinions so yeah but just so happens just a big adage don't fucking do it bitch okay all right so enough about that all right so we're done talking about that just a PSA girl okay so before we start alam nyo I have a tip I feel like tayo especially mga Pinoy because it's like a taboo subject hindi natin masyado in exploring sensuality natin kaya I notice there's a lot of people who are super insecure and so disconnected with their bodies you know what I mean which ako din eh Honestly, from the age of 18 to I would say 25, 4, I was very disconnected with my body. Like, I feel like straight up insecure. One thing that helped me, I saw this exercise online. I cannot remember kung saan. But if you feel like you want to connect with your body and feel less insecure, that will help. Whenever I get ready for doing the thing, I would usually shower, turn off the lights. Then it's just me and my body, nothing else. You don't see your insecurities. You just feel yourself. Diba? It really helps. And it's super relaxing because you don't 
si different colors sa bathroom mo. It's just dark. It's just you, your senses, and the water. That's a tip that I got from a guru, but I don't remember. We'll start from there, babes. All right, so moving on my curls, we have all the products in here. So we're gonna start off first with top to bottom. We're gonna start off first with hair kasi ako, my fantasy talaga is like, I really want perfect hair. Kahit ibalibag ako, yung tipong ganun-ganun talaga. If she's drenched and like wet, her hair is still soft. Like, you know, she's like a vibe. Mas mabango pa rin yung hair. Pagdating sa shampoo, I have multiple recommendations. Girl, I just got this recently and this is End Honey Deep Moisture Shampoo number one and also their conditioner. This is their End Honey Deep Moist Treatment. Girl, I'm telling you, sobrang lambot ng hair mo, tas ang bango na ito, I swear. It's like you have perfume in your hair. Then, Second, I always do scalp care because for sure, papawisan ka. So, girl, you don't want to smell your scalp, babes. Especially me, I have extensions, babe. This shit smells like shit. Pag sa shower, I usually use this. This is Grafton Herb Hair Vinegar. Depende if I'm only on the mood, I will use this. Pero minsan, there are days I don't. Pero ito, this is more important. This is their Grafton Root Booster Tonic. This one smells so good. It's anlamig sa scalp. So, I usually spray this, massage, and then I'll style my hair accordingly. Girl, if you sweat, yung smell ng hair mo or scalp mo is this smell. It smells like fresh, clean, apples. Very clean talaga. So I really like this one. Second, I do hair mist. Of all hair mist right now, I only have two favorites. Kasi I've been trying so many hair mist na parang lately. Yung iba pansin ko very perfumey na. Tapos nagahalo siya sa main perfume ko. So parang nakakahilo. So I just like scents na very faint. Gusto ko yung tipong pag kunyari medyo na-drench na onting sweat yung hair. Parang mabango pa rin siya. Kasi amin natin pag pinapawisan ka while you're doing the thing. Let's say your back is sweating. Your hair gets in your back and it's like sweaty. And then gusto ko yung mabango pa rin yung hair ko, the strands itself. I just used two. Ito actually, ubus na nga to eh. Wow! Ganun ba kadami encounters? Sad to say, yes. So I used this one. This is Cosmist Love from Manic Beauty. Shout out to Nicole. Girl, you're the OG. Kasi, actually, ubus na to. Ayan na lang siya. Don't mind if I do. Sobra onti na lang to. Like, girl, smells like vanilla. Sobra subtle niya lang. Hindi siya potok na smell. Alam mo yun? Second, I like this one. This is the Grace and Glow Black Opium Silky Hair Mist. This one smells like vanilla, pero I actually like smelling onting vanilla na may onting clean na musk. Kasi I want to be edible, but at the same time, I want to smell clean, bitch. Okay? So, I use this one. Sobra light lang yung amoy niya. Hindi siya yung parang nagdagay ka ng perfume. I also noticed pag nabasa lang yung hair strands mo na parang onting na moist lang, tsaka lang lalabas yung amoy. Pero compared to these two, mas malakas si Cosmist Love compared to this one. Malakas in a sense na I could smell it pero hindi siya overwhelming. Subtle pa din but I smell it more compared to this one. So yeah. Then moving on, I have here some hair treatment and hair oil girl. I talked about this mask. This is like my second tub. This is the Shiseido Fino Premium Touch Mask. Promise. Balibagin ka. It's a wild night. Girl, your hair, kahit ganyanin mo lang, it's still perfect. Ganun ka soft yung hair mo. Kasi ako personally ha, like comment down below, when I'm doing the thing, Ayoko na katali yung hair ko just for the fantasy. Parang gaganon ka. Girl, come on. It's an open space. Like let me know, girl. Gusto ko na kalugay para just a justahan effect. That's my thing, okay? What I like about this sober lambot ng hair mo. Tapos I like the smell. It smells like an expensive spa. Tapos it stays in your hair. I swear it will smell so good and feel so soft. That's why I really love this. Second, the mat. If you want your hair to be very very soft to the point na parang bagong plancha, girl, I'm not kidding. Parang bago relaxing hair mo. Viral to it. This is the end, honey. Deep Moist Hair Oil Moist Charat Sobrang bango pa na ito Tapos if you mix it with these two Girl, I'm telling you Your hair is soft It doesn't tangle Nalala ko yung sa TikTok If you add this Your hair is gonna smell good If you add this Your hair is gonna be detangled Charat You mix these two together Ugh If you just do this Okay hair mo That's my thing I love when Gagano lang ako and then, okay, your hair ko. The vibe, bitch. Sambongo pa neto. They have two variants. I use the pink one and this one, but I use this one more. A little goes a long way. Trust me. Alright, so that's for hair kasi I love the fantasy pag kunyari sobrang fresh pa din ang hair mo while doing the thing. And also, mga Chris, can I just say, the reason why also you shouldn't use these tips pag hook up kasi, bitch, they don't fucking deserve it, honestly. Unless if they take you to a restaurant or spend money on you expensive stuff, then bitch, do it. But for coffee dates, oh my god, bitch, I'm telling you, don't do coffee dates, okay? Okay. Actually, I swear, abangan yun podcast. There's a lot of things going on in my mind, bitch. Okay. All right. So moving on to the body. Usually, I do treatments in a clinic, and I have body care. But I'm gonna start off first with body care. That's more affordable. Actually, you recommend kong clinic super mura lang. So make sure you watch till the end. So first, I always do body scrub. I make kwento ako. This is the body scrub I use. This is the Lux Organics Niacinamide Velvet Salt Scrub. I had an encounter in Singapore, and mind you, babes. 
he's a CEO, chaka neuroscientist siya. And then I remember we were in the bar, meron siyang black card. I am not kidding. Actually, I even googled him kasi sabi niya CEO siya sa isang company. I did not know na medyo prevalent siya sa business world. And I was like, "Oh, wow. Okay." Meron siyang article and I was like, "Oh, wow. Oh my god, I'm shook." So, yun. I remember very vividly when we were doing it, like the romansahan and stuff like that. When he touched me, he was like, "Your skin is so soft." Usually, I get guys every time they always touch me, they're like, "Your skin is so soft." And they're always like messaging me like, "Oh, I miss your soft skin." Babes, I just use body scrub. This is so cheap. Between the pink and the yellow one, mas gusto ko yung yellow. Ay, mas gusto ko yung amoy nito. I mix it with this vanilla cupcake body wash. Cuz depending on my mood, I usually use this one, Naturium, the smoother glycolic body wash, girl. If you have like keratosis pilaris or mga bumps, girl, use this. Sobrang smooth parang puwet ng baby babes. I swear, sobrang kinis ng balat mo, sis. And then, meron din ako isang recommendation, Bare and Bliss in color green. That one, ang lakas makakinis. Ang may vanilla pa, sobrang bango nun talaga. Those are like the three body wash I would use. Tapos, if I want to feel clean talaga, like malinis talaga yung feel, sing parang I don't feel slimy and gross, I just wanna get the assurance that I feel clean talaga. Ito lang talaga sabon ko, like ever since. This is Dr. S. Wong Silver Soap. Get this one, the one that says aloe vera, kasi yung other silver soap yung dilaw, parang baho. Gusto ko to yung puti, kasi it smells decent for a silver soap. Kasi ang dami ng silver soap lang baho. Yun, I don't feel clean unless if I use silver soap. Because even if I use Safeguard or other soaps, parang, I want to feel like talaga na strip off yung oil, yung sebum, yung dirt. If I want to feel clean, babes, and confident, ito. Sulfur soap, bitch. The next one, mga curls, if you feel insecure with your body or discoloration, I have two options. One affordable and one is a little bit pricey, but still affordable for its category. First, for the affordable version, if you have like dark spots or if you have like scars, babes, they were not lying. This is the Rossmark Kagayako. I remember I talked about this in some vlog. Kasi we tried it out for fun. Kasi yung friend namin sobrang pumute. Yeah, babes. I had a tan line na ayaw mo wala nung like, El Nido kami. Then I started using this. Dun pa lang siya fade after like two months. Then I had like a childhood scar. On my butt. Yeah. It helps with fade. So, yun. This is really good. Rosmar, I don't know what you place in here, but yeah, this is an essential for me. Tapos, second naman mga curls, I usually get Rev Light Laser. Usually mga Rev Light Laser, pag pupunta sa Ivy Clinic, mga Icon Clinic, medyo mahal. The most affordable I could recommend na clinic is Skin 101. I'm not sponsored, by the way. I'm not affiliated. I really pay talaga. Sobrang mura lang. You can get Underarms Rev Light for 2,500 per session. Pero dalawang kilikini na yun. Tapos, you can get a package of five plus two for free. Trust me, bitch. Like, my underarms is so light. Tapos, ano, when you do Rev Light continuously, like, parang monthly or every other month, hindi masyado tutubo yung hair ng kilikini mo. Tutubo siya parang um, buhok ng pusa, ganun. And also, Rev Light is the gold standard pagdating sa pigmentation. So, if you feel like maitim yung singit mo, elbow mo, and you're just like, you know what? Fuck this shit. Let me get a clinic. Do Rev Light. Kasi they use Rev Light to remove tattoos. Usually, pagdating sa mga clinics and they suggest me other lasers, yung mga pico lasers, yung laser na itim. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Okay na yung Rev Light. That's the gold standard when it comes to pigmentation. Just do Rev Light. That's it. Alright, mga girls. So, moving on. Your clean top to bottom. Your body smooth like a baby bitch. Siyempre, you don't have to feel and look clean. You have to smell clean. Ganon. So, moving on. These are usually my go-to scents talaga. First of all, Babes, I bought a new vanilla mod. Cause, girl, I'm at that level. This is my signature scent. If you smell me in person, ito yon. This is vanilla mod by Ariana Grande, and I'ma be fucking for real. Ito ubus na. Yeah. Wala na to. Ubus na to. This is a new one. Cause I love it so much. I normally layer it with this one. This is pheromone. Cause, girl, this smells so fucking good. It smells like vanilla. Tapos ang tagal mawala. And I swear, lahat sila mabibighani sa yung girl. Marami ako nila layer actually. Cause Remember, if I sweat and shit goes down, I want to smell good, babes! The next, I use this one. This is Vanilla Musk from Nimat. Pag spray ko, isang dot rub, ganon. Tapos, katawan. Tapos, ito, lalagyan ko dito. Isang dot, ganyan lang. Ganyan lang. Tapos, syempre, meron pa ako ito. Wala itong amoy eh, pero I just like to put it on just for some extra effect. This is Alpha Parfum Copulin. Do I think it's effective? I don't know. Placebo na lang. But yeah, for me, it works. I just add this for good luck. Good luck! Para ado hala palapit ka ba? Kasi iba yung amoy mo, iba yung body chemistry mo ganon. So I usually layer that. That's my go-to. That's my top one. Tapos may kwento ako. I remember we met ni Brazilian. He went to my house. The first thing na sinabi niya talaga sa akin, pag open yun ng gate, what perfume are you wearing? Gawin siya sa akin. What perfume are you wearing? Sabi ko, I'm not wearing perfume. Yeah, and that was the same night na kinagat kagat niya ako. So here's evidence, bitch. Okay, that's when you know yung mga advice ko legit talaga okay. Kasi may evidence. Based on the studies, it works. You use what ko? Vanilla mod, fair 
pheromones, tapos I layer this. Siya din nagsabi, we're all adults. When he was going down on me, he said I smell clean because I use this. This is flower inner perfume. This is perfume for your down there, which I wouldn't recommend all the time. Yun nga, only in those days. I tried all their variants. For me, hindi ko din bet. Meron din rose eh, hindi ko bet. Ito lang talaga yung maganda. Sakura. Ito yung pinaka best. It's just 95 pesos. Ito lang talaga pinaka gusto ko. I got some comments na try the rose one. Hindi ko siya bet, Bri. Alright, so that's usually my go-to. Yung parang para naka program na na okay mod vanilla pheromone copulent as yon yun yung ano ko pero usually these are my other options no na sa Singapore ako you encounter ko don ito yung gamit ko I remember sabi yung smell so good babes nga pala until now mini message pa ako can I just show you some screenshots may patobe until now and he's the CEO who's so fucking rich na may ano may Amex sabi sa yun eh ginalang yun kasi nate de ita yun nate kasi yung bandera ng Pinoy ganon alright so this is what I use nung sa Singapore when it comes to perfumes I use she categorize everyday perfumes and sex perfumes. I don't know if I can say it on YouTube. So and usually I go for either edible, like if I smell something that I'm good to eat, or versus I smell clean. That time, no October 2022, that era, clean talaga ako. Eh. So this is what I use. This is clean classic skin girl. Tignan yung Sobrang bawas niya. Sobrang bawo nito. Na sabi niya you smell so good. And I was like yeah bitch. So yeah, this is what I would recommend if you want like a clean scent. Tapos I have some affordable dito. The first one I would suggest if you're looking for mod vanilla, ito. I found a store that sells like inspired perfumes. This is Ariana mod vanilla. Girl, kamoy na kamoy niya yung mod vanilla. It doesn't last long, but it still smells identical. And I got so many compliments there. Yeah, I mean kagat kagat nga ako, de ba? Then second, I would recommend if you want something edible smell. I always go for vanilla. I don't know. Pero depende sa vanilla kasi may mga vanilla na hindi ko gusto. Example, Billie Eilish perfume. Baka ba ako putang ina? No. Billie Eilish, I love you. What I was made for. What the fuck was that perfume? So second, this is Victoria's Secret Bear Vanilla. Ang gusto ko nito, it smells like straight up vanilla na sugary pero hindi nakakahilo. With this scent, you can layer it on top with other scents. Pero I always get comments like vanilla lace. Meron ako vanilla lace, hindi ko bet. Amoy plastic. Ito gusto ko to. Amoy sugary na panggigigilan ka na. I don't smell tonka bean. Kasi yung kay Billie Eilish, parang may tonka bean na may halong cacao na medyo very thick sa ilong. Ito hindi. It's very light. So, very sugary, yummy. I love this one. I have here from Victoria's Secret, which you can see, medyo bawas. Charot! No, graduate na ako sa hookup culture. And I only do the thing with guys that I had multiple dates. At saka, ngayon ha, at the advice ha, I don't sleep with men anymore. Like, right away. Kasi dati, bobo ako eh. Yung mentality ko dati is like, I'm so insecure. So parang first date pa lang, I'll sleep with a guy. So, tanga, di ba? Yeah, you learn from your mistakes, okay? I will share that soon sa podcast, okay? You know, it's a mindset. So this is Victoria's Secret Lavender and Vanilla. If you're looking for something similar kay R.E.M. ni Ariana, na mas powdery, mas light and more relaxing. Like lavender na very sophisticated the smell. Hindi pang bata. Yeah, si R.E.M. medyo tini bopper yung amoy niya. This smells seductive. I did not expect it to smell this sexy. I usually use Victoria's Secret perfumes minsan sa gym or pag trip ko lang. They don't last as long. But, bear vanilla and lavender, vanilla last so long. Nanalo ko pa ka nagsangyup kami eh. Tapos ito yung suot ko. Amoy ko pa rin siya. Kahit nauso ko na ko. I swear. So good. Next naman mga curls, I would recommend. This is Katy Perry Meow. Yeah, bitch. You're gonna really meow in bed. Shut up. Okay. Oh, this smells so good. It's like vanilla sugary na. Hindi sugar na ano. It's like vanilla mixed with I would say ano berries, not raspberry, like berry lang. Sobrang bone to. It's very flirty. It's very innocent lang yung smell niya. So I really like this one. This is from ano Katy Perry meow. Alam niyo, I also noticed in Shopee and dami imitation ng Katy Perry meow. Just go for that if you want much cheaper. But babes, the original lasts so long. Like kahit pinawisa na ko, it's still on. Pinanggigilan pa ako sis. Then you. Usually, ito, I save it for like the rich ones, like the Middle Eastern, is a spoiled kani Habibi. This is my son Alhambra Musk Vanilla. I swear, I'll be fucking for real with this one. Pag spray mo nito, it smells like rose. Tapos parang medyo amoy grandma. Hintayin mo na lang na mag dry siya, kasi it smells like vanilla chocolate. If I smell it even now, like here, it smells really bad. The only time you will like the smell nito is when you spray it and dry it down. It smells like chocolate mixed with vanilla, na may halong musk na smell. Pag dry mo na natin. Ah! Oh. 
Yeah. Alam niya if kausap niya usually sugar daddy vibes and yung parang provider wear this one. Cause bitch, I don't know. Your bills paid for like three months. This is so good. Usually I reserve this pag alam ko mayaman yung kausap ko. Ito. Cause it's kind of like an acquired taste. You know what I mean? So parang if they smell this on you, they're like, oh, she knows her thing. I feel like she knows her liquor. Yung ganon. They're like, what's your liquor? And you're gonna be saying something so clever. But usually I get a Cosmo cause it's pink. <laughs> Get it all about it. I'm basic. All right, Malco. So those are usually the products I use for my bedroom essentials. And also, can we not forget practice safe sex? Okay. Very important. Don't forget to use protection, babes. We do not endorse unsafe, unsolicited sex, bitch. Okay. Practice safe. Always safe. If you need to take the pill, do it for safety. If you have to get yourself checked. Get yourself checked. There's love yourself if you want to get a check for free, okay? And plus, yun nga, please only use these tips and tricks if you're in a relationship or if you're married. Hookup? If you're participating in hookup culture, don't do it for your partner. Do it for yourself, okay? You gotta feel confident and feel like you're the motherfucking prize, bitch. Okay, hindi siya. Hindi siya hinahabal mo. Ikaw hinahabal, okay? Alright, mga girls. So that concludes this video. I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And of course, small curls. Very important is to stay with your cap, my mother. How's it, Kate? Bye, guys!